and welcome back to another lip balm review. This one is another lip zest review, and this one, it was by sheer luck that I even managed to get this one, because I think this one, if I remember right, was one of a set of two that she released onto eBay that were um, leftovers from a, um, a custom batch that she did for somebody, and there were extras, so when I saw the name of this one... I mean, I probably would have pounced anyway just because it's lip obsessed, but this one in particular, I was like, oh my god, I have to. It's Pomeranian Plum Peach. As most of you guys know, I have a Pomeranian, and she even looks a lot like this. If I had thought ahead, I would have went and grabbed her to bring her in here while I did this review, even though she always seems very bored and annoyed whenever I put her on camera. <laughs> but um, yeah, my little Talia kind of looks a bit like that. Not quite as fluffy, because she's one of the single-coated Pomeranians instead of the double-coated ones, so she's more the sleek, silkier-looking type of palm. But anyway, yeah, so because of her, and because Peach, this was a no-brainer. I was like, oh my god, I, like, within seconds of her posting that this was up, I was like, I'm on it, it's mine, it's mine, guys, move. <laughs> yeah, so I pounced on this one the second I saw it post. I was sitting there hitting refresh on eBay until it popped up, because she usually posts on Instagram a couple minutes before they go live on eBay. But anyway, so, getting right into it, <laughs> now that I've babbled for a minute and a half. Um, Format-wise, it's a stick as all lip zest are. Um, and the packaging, it's just a white tube with a cute purple cap on it, which I also approve of, as purple is my second favorite color. Um, and it's got cute little Pomeranian graphics on it. They are just so cute! And oh my goodness, I just, ah, I cannot get over this one. I love it. Uh, these are natural and organic, because lip zest products are always organic. Um, the amount in here is not listed, but my guess is 0.15 ounces, given the size of the tube. Shelf life isn't listed either, but organic products generally last like a year or two after you get them, so good for a while. Uh, price point on these is also really good. She sells her lip balms for three bucks a pop. Just search Lip Zest on eBay, they come right up. She always has a nice variety up, so I suggest you go check her out if you haven't already, because her stuff is just amazing. Um, the sturdiness on this, the cap is really nice and tight, which I appreciate big time. Turn wheel is also nice and tight, so no problems there. No special features like SPF or medication, so we get on to the scent. That is just such a satisfying sound. Let's do that again. <laughs> I love it when they have that loud pop when you pop them off. I'm a woman of just simple amusement. Okay, so. The scent on this one. I know the last lip zest I did also had peach in it, and I was bummed that I couldn't smell the peach in it. This one you can. It's really, really light. Um, it is... Again, overshadowed by the other scent in there. You mostly smell the plum, but I mean, generally on mixed scents, whatever word comes first is the one that you smell the most. Um, but yeah, it's very, very plummy, and in a good way. It's a really good plum scent. I would say it's about 80% plum, 20% peach, but you do smell peach in there. So it's not totally lost like it was in the other one. You, you can smell it here, so yay. Uh, Color-wise, it goes on clear. It's just a white wax that's in here. So, I will put it on and tell you how it feels. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. They always are. But, for completion's sake, we shall do the thing. Oh, okay. See, the edges of this one weren't quite, um... They weren't quite all smoothed off, so... You know, it, it it even happens with professional made lip balms too, so this I am not counting that as a thing against it. But in case anybody was wondering what that chunk on my lip was, it was a little bit that was hanging off the side. Okay. Now I was putting on an extra lot of this one to try and smooth that down as much as possible for next time so I won't have this issue, so. Okay. This one you totally do smell once it's on your lips. And interestingly, how in the tube you smell way more plum than peach, once it's on your lips, it smells like a more equal ratio, I find. Um, I almost smell more peach than plum now that it's on. 
I don't know, man. I don't know how this stuff works, but I'm just reporting it as I see it, or in this case, smell it. Um, Consistency-wise, hmm. This one feels a little different than they usually do. Not in a bad way, just different. Um, could also be that I put a shit ton of it on, but now in general, I do feel like this one feels a little bit different, but still good. But it is a little bit waxier. But again, to be fair, I did just put on a crap ton of it. Um, so I'm trying to keep that in perspective that that could be the issue here and not a different formula. Um, even with as much as, a, uh, as much of it as I put on, I'm actually surprised that this isn't as thick as you would guess. I would figure this would be, like, caked the fuck on for how much I just put on. Not so much! Um, even at this level, it just feels like a medium thickness lip balm. Interesting. It's really cool. But it, it, it still has that creamy quality to it, and it's still really smooth. This one, though... I'm gonna be 100% honest, because I told you I don't sugarcoat, I don't sugarcoat things, I don't bullshit things, even on my favorite brands. If I spot something that's a little bit lacking, a little bit off, I will be the first one to out it. This one does feel a bit stickier for some reason than usual, um, and I don't think that has anything to do with how much I put on. I was noticing it even with, like, the first swipes, um... So there's that, it, like I said, it feels waxier and it feels a bit sticky. But other than that, it's not, like, terribly different from how they usually are. It's still mostly good, but just, you know, that, that little bit there that noticed something a little bit off. Like, if you didn't have others to compare it to, you might not even notice it as a thing. But given I do this every day, I notice these things. So, but yeah. Other than that, I'm not really noticing any issues, so. That's, like, my only complaint. But since it's Pomeranian, you know I love it anyway. <laughs> um, let's see. In terms of shine factor, let's take a look-see. It's got... It's got some amount of shine to it. It's almost like you just, like, drank something type shine on your lips. Like, they're just wet. But without being glossy, if that makes any sense. It makes sense to me. It probably doesn't make sense to anyone else what I just said. I'm just saying words at this point. But, um, yeah, in terms of moisturization, these are pretty nice. I like them a lot. They have a really good formula that seems to work well for me, so I appreciate them big time. Uh, this one, I would say, because it feels waxier, this one might be nicer to use when it's, like, really windy out and you're trying to keep your lips from getting wind chapped. This would be great for something like that, so... Like I said, not even, like, a full-on complaint, just a difference I noticed that I wanted to throw out there. But yeah, let's check the drink test, shall we? What the hell? Okay, so the weirdest thing just happened with it. Um, it could be part of the rough edges that were on it that I was trying to smooth into it while I was using it, but the second I got it wet, I swear I almost feel like little bits of something around the edges, and I'm really, really hoping that that is just parts of the lip balm that I to didn't totally get smoothed out, because I'm like, wait, the hell is that? I'm not sure it really lines up with the feel of those. That's why I'm like, um, mildly concerned. Hmm. Continuing the drink test now, now that I went and freaked myself out. I'll let you know if it keeps happening or if it goes away. Yeah, there's there's more of that going on. What the hell? Okay, for those who've watched the other lip test reviews I've done, this has never happened before with this brand, so I'm like, whoa, what what is that? What is going on here? Um, I'm probably going to message Kayla after I film this to inquire about that, because I've never had that happen before. I'm like, no nothing's wrong with this one, right? <laughs> like I said, just, um, not mildly concerned right now. Hopefully it's still fine. I think it's fine. It smells okay. It looks okay, so I'm assuming it's fine, but I, I just paranoia. Yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna check a little more with the drink test. <laughs> Yeah, that's really weird, because it's still happening, and the more I do it in different spots, I'm feeling it happening, like, all over. That's, I'm like, I don't even know what that is. I have literally never encountered this with any lip balm before when I've done the drink test. That's, I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> um, okay, well... Um, I am definitely gonna say it's safe to say that was not the result of the rough edges that I was trying to wipe in, because that would not have done that that many times. It would have done it in, like, one spot or something. That that would not be happening all over everywhere that I get it wet, so... Not quite sure what's going on there. Um, if she knows, I'll update you guys, but otherwise, um weird ass mystery that I I have never encountered this before in all the years I've been reviewing lip balms and in general just even using lip balms I'm like whoa 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 what just happened I am very confused right now um but yeah I would still overall uh recommend this but I think this one's just gonna get a 7 out of 10 as much as I love the little tolly dogs on it um yeah 7 out of 10 for this one don't worry, there's others that probably will earn a 10 at some point. This unfortunately wasn't one of them. I really wanted it to be because of the Pomeranian, but yeah. So that is about all I have to say on this one. I swear I'm not trying to be unusually harsh or anything. I, I'm being 100% honest here. I, I figure you'd want the constructive criticism in knowing if something's up so that you can work to correct it in the future, you know? So, I mean... That's generally how I am with my stuff when I make and sell things. If there's an issue, I, I want to know so I can make sure to fix it in the future. So, anyway, um, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. And until next time, see ya.